Well done, Wales. Well done, well done, well done. And I must say, well deserved. I'm qualifying for Euro 2020. Only the second ever Euro qualification. Only the third major international tournament as they qualified for the World Cup in 1958 after they were picked out of a hat. I remember covering that during World Cup 2018. And they made it to the Euros in 2016, and they were vastly impressive. Top the group that had England in there. Knocked out Northern Ireland in the round of 16. Knocked out Belgium in the quarterfinals. But they succumbed to the host France in the semifinals. But this team continued to build. They continued to work on whoever they had. And they brought through quite a bit of youngsters. Guys like Harry Wilson... Daniel James, Ethan Ampadu, only to mention a few of these very, very talented young players. And they have qualified for another major tournament. And in September, if you told me that Wales were going to qualify for the Euros, I would have probably laughed at you. But since the October international break, they have totally turned their fortunes around. The last four Euro games, they have picked up results. And it's amazing. It's amazing. Congratulations to Ryan Giggs for making it to his first major international tournament as a player. And no, well, he never did as a player, but he's making it for the first time as a, as a, in his career, both as a player and a manager. It's simply amazing. It's simply amazing. And I think it's well deserved. It's testament of the good work. He has been doing with the team. You know, Garrett Bale has been amazing. Aaron Ramsey scoring to date in a 2 0 win against Hungary. It was only fitting that Wales did this in front of their home crowd. But getting back to the results, guys. Getting back to the results. In September, they picked up a 2 1 win against Azerbaijan. Before that, they weren't doing too well. They lost to Croatia, lost to Hungary. And they did pick up, they have been getting the better of Slovakia, it seems. But they, they did pick up a win against Slovakia early. But it, it, was, it was a rocky start. It was a rocky start. Those two losses against Croatia and Hungary really rocked their campaign. But they picked things back up. They really picked things back up, which it started in September. I did say it started in October. But October was when it really, you know, gotten full force. Like a 1-1 draw against Slovakia, away, an away draw. Then picking up that 1-1 draw against Croatia was very, very crucial. A win on the road against Azerbaijan, crucial three points. And now another crucial three points at home. So in all, in all, during those matches in October, picking up two points. Six points in November, eight points. Second in the group. One point ahead of third place Slovakia and three points behind of first place Croatia. They avoid going into the UEFA Nations League playoffs. You don't want to go in there because you 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 don't know how that one's gonna turn out. You already go go you already went through qualifiers. You don't want to go ahead and play, you know, playoffs again. It's it's too much of a grueling process. It's a second chance, but you you want to avoid it at all costs. But well done to Wales. Well done to Garrett Bale, who has been, you know, in the news for his riffraff over there at Real Madrid. But he has shown that for his country, he is a quality, quality player. And he's ready to give his all. I think he's ready to give his all for Real Madrid as well. Aaron Ramsey moving to Juventus on a free. He is, he is one of their talisman. It's really, really beneficial when you have a man like Ramsey and Bale in your team. Harry Wilson doing well on loan at Bournemouth. Daniel James doing well at Man United as well. Ethan Ampadu at loan, on loan at RB Leipzig. There's a few other guys, you know, doing well with the national team. Kiefer Moore comes to mind. Wayne Hennessy pulling off some big saves on the day against Hungary. So it's it's testament of their hard work and their good performance. Why they are making it to only their second ever Euros. Could Wales go on another fairy tale run again? Guys, that's for another conversation. They were just they 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 they're probably just happy that they have made it once again. And I think they have time between now and the Euros.
to just work on all their chinks and just work on all their weaknesses in order to challenge again. This is a team that could definitely challenge. They have the guys, they have the talent, and they would want to show up some big teams again like they did at the 2016 edition. As for Hungary, man, you know, I feel I feel bad for Hungary a bit because they, they had a nice spirited run picking up that win against Croatia there, but they, they, they needed to win today. They needed to win today, and they failed to do so. I think Hungary do have a UEFA Nations League quali um, playoff spot as well, and so will Slovakia. They should have a UEFA Nations League playoff spot as well. I'm not 100% sure on that. Don't quote me on that because it's a whole complicated process where most of the teams that won their respective UEFA Nations League groups have qualified, especially those from Group A with the exception of Iceland. So it's a whole mix-up, mix-up thing. So 16 teams still vying for four available slots. Hungary should be one of those teams. Slovakia should be one of those teams. But Wales, uh, uh, they should be elated that they are not one of those teams and they have booked themselves a place at the next Euros, which will be held in 2020 all across Europe. So guys, let me know your thoughts on Wales in the comment section down below. Do you think they can go on another remarkable run like they did at the 2016 event? And with Ryan Giggs, a Man United legend, a Welsh legend at the helm, it's quite possible. It is quite possible. But that's my thoughts. Quick congratulations to Wales for making it to the Euros. Really, really feel happy for them. They deserve it. I'm your boy Dominic Rich. If you're new around here, consider hitting the subscribe button. Guys, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up for the boys from Wales for making it to the Euros. Leave a comment sec leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know how you think they'll do at the tournament. And guys, don't forget to visit cardsplug.com. Use the coupon code DominicRichFC to get yourself 15% off. You can get yourself a nice card with Garrett Bale up there. You know, put it on your wall. Aaron Ramsey. Or whoever is your favorite Welsh player. Maybe it's the Rastaman Eton Amp. I don't know. But all the links will be in the description box down below. So, again, your boy Dominic Rich coming to you with a quick fire video. All teams for, well, all 20 automatic spots have been filled for the Euros. Wales become the final team to book their place. So, until my next video, which might be a little later, I'm on a, I'm on a roll today. And I, w I was, you know, held up by the whole Tottenham Hotspur fiasco firing Pochettino and all. I didn't get to watch the entire game, but I did see most of it. <sighs> Talk about distractions. But let's not get distracted from what Wales have done today. So, from your boy Dominic Rich again, peace out. Rich Squad.